Welcome to the door trigger tutorial. First of all, we're going to create a room using uh, room segments. So we'll pick the uh, control room full and we'll draw the room. In this room, we're going to have uh, split it into two with the wall, wall segments and uh, put a roof on there as well. So at the moment, we're just drawing the walls. We'll draw a little wall in the corner so we can hide our trigger point there. And now we'll put on the roof. Right, next we need to put in a door. So we'll go to the uh, scenery, select the uh, control room door, but it's got to be a remote door so we can use the trigger to activate it. We'll place the door here. Now we need to move over to the markers and the first marker we're going to place is the player start marker. So we'll just start them in the corner of the room. Next we need to make sure there's some light in the room so we'll put a white light in the centre of the room, first room, and we'll put a red light in the centre of the other room just to make it so that it's different colours. Now we add the trigger. So we click on trigger zone and place it in our little nook we created. Now we're going to change the properties of the door. We just want to rename it to door 1. So we'll use that later on. Now we'll edit the properties of the trigger zone. We'll call the trigger zone uh, door open trigger so we know what it is. And we're now going to copy the player in zone FPI script. We'll place that in the user directory and we'll create a subdirectory called trigger door and place it in there. So we know exactly what it is, we'll rename it to door open trigger like the uh, trigger zone itself is called. And now we'll quickly edit the script using Notepad, change the title so we know what it says. And next we need to change the activate all in zone to activate if used. If used is a property in the uh, trigger zone, so we'll go back to that in a second and uh, set that property. Right, if used we're going to change so it activates door 1 which is what we called our door. Right, now the best thing to do is save the level just in case anything happens. We'll call it door trigger. Now let's build and test the level. Right, we'll click OK. Here we are in our level. See there's a door we placed. And in the corner there we have the trigger zone. So let's reverse into the trigger zone and watch the door open. And as you see we made the other room red so we could tell the difference between the two rooms and there we go.